The Canada-India diplomatic row has been dominating headlines and you must have seen an alphabet soup of organizations – SFJ, ISYF, WSO and more. At this point, there are at least eight controversial Sikh extremist organizations in Canada and various parts of the world. But it's important to distinguish which ones are viewed by the Indian government as pro-Khalistan, which ones have been banned not just by India but the US and other countries too. It's also important to single out the outfits which may not have been banned but play a role in the glorification of certain Sikh militants and are viewed as sympathetic to calls for a separate Sikh state. On your screen, you will see a few names, Babar Khalsa International or BKI, Sikhs for Justice, SFJ, World Sikh Organization, WSO, International Sikh Youth Federation, ISYF, Khalistan Tiger Force, KTF, Khalistan Commando Force, KCF, Khalistan Zindabad Force, KZF, and Khalistan Liberation Force, KLF. Now this month, the Indian government named WSO, KTF, SFJ and Babar Khalsa as pro-Khalistan groups with terror links who are working at the behest of Pakistan. So let's start with the one you've probably seen already, Khalistan Tiger Force. Sikh extremist Hardeep Singh Nijar, whose killing has been at the centre of the India-Canada tensions, was the chief of KTF until he died. Videos and pictures have since emerged of Nijar organising an arms training camp in Canada and brandishing guns. KTF is a militant outfit declared by India as a terrorist organisation in February this year. Nijar, believed to have played a key role in its recruitment, training and financing of KTF, was also wanted under India's Unlawful Activities Prevention Act or the UAPA. Now, a KTF associate, Arshdeep Singhil, suspected of having close ties with Nijar, was declared by India as a terrorist as well. KTF was formed in the 1990s by Jagdar Singh Tara, a militant involved in the killing of Punjab Chief Minister B.N. Singh in August 1995. It was one of the several major separatist organizations involved in the Khalistan movement during the Punjab insurgency. Now today, the group is active in Canada, UK, US, France and Spain. The next one is perhaps the oldest and most organized Sikh separatist organizations, Babar Khalsa International, known as BKI or simply Babar Khalsa. It has been officially banned and designated as an international terrorist group not just by India, but Canada, Japan, Malaysia, the UK, the US and even the European Union. It is known for orchestrating two major tragedies, the 1985 Kanishka bombing that killed over 300 people and the 1995 assassination of Punjab CM Bian Singh. Now, in June 1985, Babar Khalsa orchestrated the bombing of Air India flight Kanishka that killed over 300 people. Canada, which banned the group in 2003, describes it as a Sikh terrorist entity that aims to establish a fundamentalist independent Sikh state called Khalistan in what is presently the Indian state of Punjab. BKI activities include armed attacks, assassinations and bombings. BKI has members outside of India in Pakistan, North America, Europe and Scandinavia. Now, in August 1995, BKI sent suicide bomber Dilawar Singh into the Chandigarh Secretariat to kill Punjab CM Bian Singh. In 2016, Jagdar Singh Tara confessed to his role in the assassination and said he has no regrets. Tara was earlier accused in the case but escaped from Burial Jail in 2004 by digging a tunnel out. He was later re-arrested and was given life imprisonment. BKI traces its roots to the 1920s Babar Akali movement in British India. Now, Babar Akalis were opposed to Britain's imperialist policies. Some offshoots of this movement turned violent, especially after the Jallianwala Bagh and Nankana Sahib massacres. But the organisation took proper form in the 1970s. Militants Sukhdev Singh Babar and Talvinder Singh Parmar, believed to be the mastermind of the Kanishka bombing, were among the founding members of BKI. It is believed to be active in the US, Canada, UK, Germany, France, Belgium, Norway, Switzerland and Pakistan. According to South Asia Terrorist Portal, Parmar formed a faction within BKI known as Babar Khalsa Parmar in 1992 as he shared differences with its leadership at the time. The Parmar faction has a presence today in the UK, Germany, Belgium and Switzerland. The current head of Babar Khalsa is Vadva Singh, reportedly hiding in Pakistan, among others like Mehal Singh, who is the deputy chief of BKI. The World Sikh Organization, or WSO, formed in the aftermath of the 1984 anti-Sikh riots, describes itself as a Sikh religious and non-profit that aims to provide an effective, credible voice to represent Sikh interests on the world stage. 
it is not banned in any country. US-based Didar Singh Benz played a key role in setting up WSO, but now it is mostly based in Canada. Today, it wields significant social political influence in Canada and is reported to have funded the campaigns of politicians in the Liberal Party, which Canadian PM Justin Trudeau belongs to. In 2017, then Punjab CM Captain Amarinder Singh turned Canadian Defence Minister Harjit Singh Sajjan, a Khalistani sympathiser, as well as his father Kundan Singh Sajjan, who was a founding member of WSO. Now, this statement created waves. While the WSO did play a key role in helping Sikhs get the right to wear articles of faith in government and public organizations in Canada, it has increasingly raised its voice for the separate state of Khalistan over the years. As recently as on 15 September this year, Canadian news outlet Baz, co-founded by a former WSO executive director, published a report naming an Indian diplomat in Canada as an alleged counterintelligence agent. It named Bikram Pal Singh Bhati, not Pawan Kumar Rai, who was expelled by Canadian authorities days later. Now, this report was published just days before Trudeau said Canada is investigating a potential link between Indian agents and Nijar's killing on the floor of the Canadian Parliament. In a recent press conference, WSO of Canada President Mukpee Singh called for action from the Feds, including immediate protection for Sikhs and a thorough review of Indian diplomats in Canada. Sikhs for Justice, or SFJ, is perhaps best known in recent times for its controversial leader, Gurpantwant Singh Pannu, responsible for orchestrating several referendums overseas for a separate Sikh state. Last week, in a viral video, he threatened Hindus in Canada to leave the country and return to India. Meanwhile, India's National Investigation Agency has started to crack down on his assets and just last Saturday confiscated his properties in Chandigarh and Amritsar. SFJ is a US-based group founded by Panu in 2009. In 2011, it tried to lodge a case against Indian politicians from the Congress party for their alleged role in the anti-Sikh riots of 1984, but the case was eventually dismissed. Now, SFJ has also resorted to filing lawsuits in the US against Indian leaders like Sonia Gandhi and Manmohan Singh, who they believe played a role in counterinsurgency operations after the 1984 riots. In 2019, India banned the group. Last year, Punjab police said it found audio recordings of the group trying to arrange shelter for the killers of singer Sidhu Musewala and others. Last December, SFJ reportedly took responsibility for sending a rocket launcher type weapon into the Sarhali police station in Punjab in 2019. The International Sikh Youth Federation was formed in the UK in 1984 after Operation Blue Star. It was founded by Amrik Singh and Jasbir Singh Rode, a nephew of Jarnail Singh Bhindranwale. ISYF has been banned in India and Canada. It was associated with several assassinations and kidnappings in the 80s and 90s, including a failed assassination attempt of Punjab CM Prakash Singh Badal in 1997. Now, ISYF is also known for organizing controversial Baisakhi parades in Canada, in which it features floats glorifying Sikh militants. Banned in Canada in 2003, the ISYF openly advocated for an independent Sikh state free from Hindu imperialism. Interestingly, the UK lifted its ban on ISYF in 2016 after it had termed it a terror group back in 2001. Reports indicate that Bhai Amrik Singh, then chair of the Sikh Federation in the UK, made efforts to consult with the UK government to overturn the ban. He argued that if Indian authorities claim to have ended the armed struggle in Punjab in the 1990s, then the ban is no longer relevant. Now, ISYF is currently headed by Lakbir Singh Rode, also a nephew of Bhindranwale. It is also believed to function closely with Pakistan's intelligence agency. Now, the last three in our list, KLF, KCF and KZF, are groups that cropped up in the 80s and 90s who believe in carving out a Sikh state through armed violence. KLF may ring a bell as it was headed by Avtar Singh Khanda, the Sikh extremist believed to have masterminded the attack on the Indian mission in London in March this year, which also saw the taking down of the Indian flag. Now, Khanda was also considered the mentor of Amritpal Singh, the head of Varas Punjab Day, who was on the run from the Punjab police for many weeks before giving himself up. Khanda died in a British hospital in June this year from medical causes, though his death spawned speculation that he had been poisoned. Thank you so much for watching. This is Pia Krishnkuti for The Print.